All right, good morning, guys. Wanted to spend a little time with you here this morning. It's been a while since I've uh, put one of these out, but just wanted to kind of uh, touch base with y'all. Of course, a lot of great things going around the campus right now. A lot of thing, a lot of groups and teams and programs involved in competition. Uh, UIL uh, one act play getting ready to compete at the area competition. They won the district, advanced in the by district. Now they're at area if they advance Thursday night, uh, which we are hoping that they do. They go to regionals, and the next step after regionals is state. So uh, excited for that. A lot of our UIL academic teams have advanced to regionals and individuals have advanced to regionals. Uh, the UIL speech and debate, uh, they're competing at regionals here in a few weeks with a chance again to go to state there. So a lot of uh, uh, competition there. Of course, athletics, track, boys and girls getting ready for the District 22 6A meet here in the next week or so. Baseball, softball, right in the middle of their district season. About to make a switch and go play the second round of, of district. Of course, boys and girls soccer. Um, making, looking to make a run in the playoffs, both teams, girls soccer Thursday night, boys soccer Friday night, first round of the playoffs. If you get a chance, go out and support those guys and gals as they're competing in, in, in the soccer first round of the playoffs. And bowling, bowling, congratulations to our boys bowling team, our girls bowling team as well. Our girls uh, made it to state and just barely missed the finals um, on that competition, but our boys made the finals, advanced, got beat in the state championship. So our bowling team is state runners up, number two in the state of Texas. So congratulations, guys. I laugh and tell them, try to roll it straight, but they like to put that little curve on it. So I just basically tell them, try to knock them all down. And obviously they did a great job of that uh, this past weekend. So congratulations to them. A uh, couple of reminders for uh, our students here at Maine. Um, English 2, English 2 stars coming up. You're two weeks away. In fact, I think English 1 retesters, you're two weeks away from the day. English 2 um, students as well as English 2 retesters, you guys are two weeks from Thursday. So uh, your teachers are preparing you. I know they've got a plan together. They're working on you. Please take this seriously. Remember, the English 1, English 2 test, both required for graduation. So I know that your teachers have prepared you throughout the year for that test, but man, this last two weeks is cram time. We're going to get you with a, a drop dead review where we just drop everything and we just review to make sure that you are ready uh, for that exam that's coming up very, very soon. Let me hit two quick housekeeping things just to kind of remind you of some things. IDs. Guys, we've got to have those IDs out and visible just because um, some things that have, have, you know, were last month and we dealt with those as far as safety issues, safety concerns, made a big push for IDs. You guys jumped right on board, knew the, knew the need was there. And I appreciate that so much. But just because we've kind of moved away, we don't need to slack on our um, uh, concern as far as making sure that you're a student here and wearing those IDs. So please make sure <clears throat> that you have those IDs out and visible each and every day. The second thing is, School starts at 7.15. Turn to your neighbor and say, school starts at 7.15. That's right, 7.15, not 7.20, not 7.22. So if you pull up in the parking lot at 7.15, you're late. If you pull up in the parking lot at 7.10, you're probably going to be late to class. Make sure that you're getting here on time with the freshman campus opening. Traffic is not bad. If you uh, you know, if you get here at 710, you'll be able to, or 705, you'll be able to drive straight to the parking lot, park, and get to class on time. Traffic is not an issue for being late. You know, some of you, of course, are being dropped off by your parents. Let's make sure that we're getting up, getting situated, getting out of the house in time to be on time for first period. Last thing I share with you, of course, this is a short week. We've got today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Everyone's off Friday, of course, for Good Friday, so I hope that you have a happy Easter and enjoy that time with your family. Don't steal the little candy eggs from your uh, little brothers and sisters and cousins. That's for them. You've already experienced that. But enjoy your Easter weekend and with your family. And, of course, we're back at it Monday morning. We are, are basically two weeks away from the end of the fifth, six-week grading period, guys. So make sure that you're getting in during Mega Lunch, getting that extra help you need, getting that tutoring, taking care of those zeros, whatever the case may be. You're less than two weeks away from the end of that grading period. So make sure, make sure, make sure that you take care of that 
prior to the end of the fifth, six weeks. We'll talk again soon. Go Horns.